everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Today we are going to be making beef stew. These are some of the ingredients that you will need that's right in front of us. One of the things I wanted to um, point out is the red potatoes that I like. You don't have to peel the skin off. You just cut them, in, um, cut them up with the skin on. I have an example right in front of us. Okay, so let's begin. Let's um start this up. Okay, first you want to put some butter. You want your first you want your pan to be nice and hot. Um, I did turn my fan my um fire up because I want my pan nice and hot. So I'm just gonna put some butter in there. We want to have that melt down. So I washed my meat off and I put it into a Tupperware. So I'm going to lightly season my meat. First, I'm putting some, what's this, garlic powder up here. You don't want to over season it because remember, as you cook it, it, I'm putting some parsley in. As you cook it, you know, you got other seasonings and salts and all that type of stuff. So you want to lightly season it. Season it, but lightly. And I'm going to put some onion pepper. And I want to use for my salt, I want to um, use some um, soy sauce. I'm going to put some of that in there. Okay, I'm going to season that up real good. And we have our butter up here melting down so we can um put our and let's just mix that all up so we have that nice and mixed up so now what we're going to do is put our meat in okay and i seasoned it with the cream sauce this has enough salt in there And we just want to cook that down a little bit. Start it browning up a little bit. So while our meat is cooking, I am going to start putting some of our ingredients in our um, crock pot. So first I'm going to put in, I have some um, beef um, broth. Can you see that? I'm trying to show it, but I want to show exactly what it looks like. Okay, so we have some beef broth up in here. We're gonna put all of that up in here. Okay. Let's put that all that whole thing up in here. Then I wanna put in some um onion um soup dip. I'm gonna put that in there. I'm just gonna put one pack of it in there, that would be good enough. Okay, then I want to put a half of, this is a, a beef bouillon cube. I'm going to put half, I'm not going to put a whole one, just a half of a one. A half of a bouillon cube in, just a half. How I did it, I just broke it up. We throw that in here. Put and wash my potatoes. So I'm just going to throw some in here. So your meat is cooking good. Now, if you would like, you could take it out and put it into the crock pot. Some people like their um, meat like medium there. What, uh, I can't even get it out. I like to cook mine as well done before I even put it in there. So it's up to you. Me personally, I like my meat well done. So I cook it until I don't see... No more pink stuff, and then I put it into the crock pot. So it's almost there. You see a little bit of the pinkness if you look at it. See, it's a little bit up in there. But um, we're going to just cook that through a little bit. It's almost done. Okay, our meat is done. So you're going to start adding that meat to your um, pot. 
now I do put mixed vegetables in but I don't put my mixed vegetables in it to after the fact they're not fresh they're basically the frozen mixed vegetables and I put the crock pot on four on four hours so I like to put it in right before it's done because if you set it in it's gonna make your uh, vegetables mushy if you you know let it cook through as long as your meat is up it's gonna make it mushy so I take all of that and I just put all that juice and stuff that I cooked it in into the crock pot so we want to mix that up together so we have our crock pot on four hours and this is what it looks like and our crock pot so we just want to let that cook down now this is my frozen vegetables I am cooking it on top of the stove and the only reason why is because Frozen vegetables normally is frozen, so when it cooks, it's going to bring some type of what water. And I don't want to put no more water than I have in the pot, so I'm gonna cook them down to get some of that water off before I put it in. Our vegetables is done. We got the water that we did not want to add in from being frozen, so we're just gonna add this to our beef stew. Okay, I am going to add some beef stew seasoning mix as well. Okay, so I'm just going to pour this in while this is all sitting and marinating. I do these steps because I want my potatoes and all that good stuff to kind of cook down. So we just want to mix that in. We have that all stirred in. So now what we're going to do is let it finish the rest of the four hours. Mmm, it's looking good, right? Okay, our beef stew is looking good. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. So it is done. But I want to taste it. Now you can thicken it up if you choose to. This is thick enough for me. I don't have to thicken it up. Normally when you thicken it up, you just take a little flour and... um water and then that's how you do it this is okay for me uh i don't need to thicken it up if this is too watery for you you know you can but this is perfect for me I'll push this back so that you guys can see okay we got our potatoes our vegetable and our meat mm, mm, mm. look at that y'all look at that it is hot mm. yeah cut your potato with your fork look at that it's too hot for me to just to pump it in my mouth but <laughs> y'all get the drift and this is our meat hold up look at that all that gravy and juices Ugh so good so good so enjoy i'm about to tear this down y'all all right take care bye bye